Hi guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Zigbee wall controller to your Philips Hue app and also the Hue bridge. What you're going to need to do first is, is go onto your app store on your phone and download an app called Hue app. Once you've done that and created an account and logged in, you'll then come to a screen like this. To be able to connect your lights, all you will need to do now is click add lights. On your receivers, if you click these five times, they will then begin to flash. And then if you head over back to your app and click search, you will then see it says number of lights found, two, which are these two receivers. From here, if you press start, you will then begin the process of adding your lights. So, because I've done two, I'll have two lights. So, if we do a test light, one, and press save. And then on here, as you can see, it's trying to display. It is now connected. And then if you just click next light, but if you've got one receiver, that'll be the only stage you'll do. And then if we call this one, test light two, press save. It will then have paired as well. As you can see, you can then change the colors. So once you've done all that, you press done. You'll then come to the stage where you can then add them into rooms, either individually or you can use both lights into one room or it's completely up to you, it's completely customizable. So if we drag light one in, because I'm going to put them into the same room just for this test, we'll call this test room, press save. And then you can you see here it says add another room. I'm not going to be doing that because I'm going to be putting them into the same room so I can show you for the purpose of this video. So after you've done that, if you've just pressed done, it'll let you know that it's done it correctly. And then if we now press test room, and let's just go to test light one, and you can just drag it around. And as you can see, the light's changing. Same with test two, that they're completely separate. Or if you wanted to power them both together, all you need to do is, as if you can see on the app here, there's a little dot, and that's just going to be showing you the other light. So all you need to do is, is drag them both together, and you can see that they then become join. So then you can actually use them together, and they will then sync together like that. So you can run them both the same. So, with the wall controller, what you need to do is, is still using the app. If we then click X off here, and then if we go to settings, we then click accessories. And then up here it says add accessory. If you go ahead and click that, click hue dimmer switch, and then select no. LED is blinking. Then if we head over to the wall controller, if you hold down the power button until the indicating light comes on, and then just go ahead and tap R. There won't be anything that comes on the app to say that it's been connected correctly, but if you look on the wall controller, uh, once it's gone through its pair mode, the indicating light will flash slowly, but once it's successfully um, connected, it will then flash four times, but if it didn't do it correctly, it will then flash twice. So all you'll need to do is, is just follow that process again. So after you've done that, if you just press settings to go back. So that's that part done. So now what we need to do is, is do the find and bind with the wall controller and the receivers. So to do this, all you need to do is, is press the receiver three times Either if you've got one receiver, just do it on that part and then follow the next process. Or if you do it on two, then do the same. So what you need to do is, is press it three times. One, two, 
three. Press your desired zone on the wall controller and then hold down the power button until the indicating light comes on and then press B. Once it's connected, the light will then stop flashing and then we'll be able to use the wall controller as normal, like so. And then we'll be able to use the wall controller like that. So again, I'll show you again with this one and I'm going to connect it to the same zone because I want them to run together. So one, two, three, desired zone. Hold down the power button until the indicating light comes on and then press B. And again, it will blink while it's pairing and then it will go static once it's done, like so. And these then should begin to run together, like so. So now you'll be able to use the wall controller and also if we go back and the app at the same time and then if we go back and then if you do this with the wall controller you can then see on the app that it's also going round just to show you that they're both paired together so you can either use the app on your phone or you can then go ahead and use the wall controller 